They know the injustice of asking leaseholders, very often young people who have saved hard and made sacrifices to get their first steps on the housing ladder, to pay money they don't have to fix a problem they didn't cause, all while the firms that made a profit on those developments sit on their hands. So we'll take action to end this scandal and protect leaseholders. We will scrap the proposal for loans and long-term debt for medium-rise leaseholders. I can confirm today to the House that no leaseholder living in a building above 11 metres will ever face any costs for fixing dangerous cladding. And, working with members of both Houses, we will pursue statutory protection for leaseholders and nothing will be off the table. As part of this, we will introduce immediate amendments to the Building Safety Bill to extend the right of leaseholders to challenge those who cause defects in premises up to 30 years retrospectively. And we will also take further action immediately. We will provide an additional £27 million to fund more fire alarms so we can end the dreadful misuse of waking watches. We will change grant funding guidance so that shared owners affected by this crisis can more easily sublet their properties and encourage lenders and landlords to approve subletting arrangements. And in the period before long-term arrangements have been in place, I will work with colleagues across government to make sure leaseholders are protected from forfeiture and eviction because of historic costs.